we are going to jump into these tips of how to be tenacious and to stick to your goals. In this fast paced world of instant gratification, it can be so hard to stick with our goals for the long term and really achieve the things that we want this week this month, this year, and in life. Today I am collaborating with Abby and she is from AJ Life Hacks. And we are talking about how to stay on the course and not give up. So thank you so much for being here today, Abby. I am so excited for this oh, collaboration. I'm excited too. We were so surprised that we live so close and it perfect for our channel. Totally <laughs> perfect because Abby's channel focuses on kind of the same thing of going after your passion and really figuring mm -hmm. out who you are and living the life you want, but it's focused more toward younger girls, yeah, teenagers, teenagers, young women, teens. Perfect. Yes. And so obviously my channel is more toward women. And so we were so excited to be able to share this collaboration today. Because we cover the gamut together. <laughs> together right. we cover it. So. That is right. And so we are going to jump into these tips of how to be tenacious and to stick to your goals. Okay. So our first tip is hold tight to your why. It is super important when you are just starting out and deciding what you want to be and how you want to change and live your life that you need to decide what's important to you. You're literally the only person that knows that where you want to be and how you want to live your life. And you have to decide like, why is this important? I love that, that you said that like, you're the only person who knows. And that's true. Um, nobody has to know what motivates you, what gets mm -mm. you out of bed, but you do. And if you don't, then you're not. Maybe like on the day yeah. where it's easy, you will, but like on the day where it's hard and it's cold outside, totally, it's not going to happen. So knowing your why is vital and knowing like why it matters to you and it doesn't have to matter to other people. No. A yeah. lot of people will ask me, they'll be like, well, that's really not important. Well, if it's important to you, it's your why. And it will drive you. Yeah. And I learned this really cool thing from Jordan Peterson where he is like, you have to write down where you want to be in five years. Where do you see mm. yourself? And write down, like, be really specific. But then you also need to write down where you don't want to be in five <laughs> years. Because then you can, when you have those really hard days, when you're like, oh my gosh, I don't know if I can do this. I don't know if I want to do this anymore. You can literally look back at your, this is where I don't want to be in five years and go, uh, that's why that, that's, that's why. why I am doing this because I want to be here and I do not want to be there. I love that. I do five year plans. I think five years is um the perfect amount of like out there so you can really make a difference, yes. but it's like obtainable when you start talking like 10, 15, 20. I start that's, to get like it seems like it's too far away. Uh, it's never yeah, gonna happen. It's too far away. But I love the five years and I've never heard that tip to do um where you don't want to be. Uh, believe me, I'm going to be making that list yeah. when I go home. Yeah, I think that's, I just did it a couple weeks ago and it is very powerful. And I'll leave a link in the description for the video where you can watch Jordan Peterson talk about that. He's on the Joe Rogan podcast, which oh, is awesome. can be really great. So I'll leave a link in the description if you want to check that out on your own. So our second tip is keeping your mindset tight because, and this kind of really has a, to go along with your why and figuring out your why. This is where, um, when I go and speak to different groups of youth and like young women, this is where they come unraveled, right? It's in your mindset that like the battles of life oh are won. Oh my gosh. It's, it's hard because we will talk ourselves out of anything. We'll talk ourselves out of success. And this is where like, especially young women, we struggle with this. I mm -hmm. think women, I period, think women in general, yeah. Like keep your mindset tight. I love that because it's really like your success is made in your mind first. Totally. And I have to say, okay, so yesterday was my birthday, my 41st birthday. Happy birthday. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. But I, I, the day started off pretty good. And then like, just, I could feel myself starting to feel, I don't know if I was starting to feel bad for myself or like thinking, well, I'm 41 and I haven't, I'm not really where I want to be yet. Mm -hmm. I don't know Very what these, common, I right? had these thoughts in my head and I, some friends came over and brought me a little present. And then I was like, I'm going to take my dog for a walk. So I took Thor for a walk. And as I was on my walk, I literally just said to myself, you can choose. You can either choose to go down this path of woe is me and I'm old and I'm not where I want to be and da 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 and I can cry about it. Or I can literally choose to change my day and say, I'm going to have a good day and I don't care 
what this brain of mine is telling me. I'm not going to believe it. And I'm just going to change and have a happy attitude and, and be grateful for everything that I have, because that's really where, where it all matters is like Ugh. recognizing all the things that we're grateful for. And that can really help flip your mindset to, okay, I'm going to like keep pushing and go after these things because I have so much to be grateful for. And that reminded me, I had that same thought of like, what am I doing with my life on my 24th birthday? <laughs> so it doesn't matter the age. That's I right. think we all hit birthdays. We all hit yep. anniversaries, milestones. And we say, what am I doing yep. with my life? Right? This is all about mindset. Keep it tight. That's Keep right. it real. So I love that. And I'm grateful. It's not just me that has birthday crises. Oh, me, so. too. me too. It's good to hear that again. It's not just me too. Yeah. And our last tip is get a mentor. Start a mindset group or surround yourself with others who are open to what you are doing, who are wanting to move forward and wanting to support you. Because a lot of times when we are trying to change ourselves and become our best person, there are people around us who literally just don't want you to do that. And it's not because they're bad people. No. Like, I've done a ton of videos on this because so many people are like, well, you know, my family doesn't support me or my friends don't support me. And now that I'm changing, they feel like we can't be friends. And yeah. it, it's out of a good place, right? They, like, love you, but they don't get it. Yeah. They're, they're not there yet. They're not there yet. And so they don't quite understand. They're mm -hmm. like, well, why do you don't need to change? You're fine how you are. But internally, like we said, you know your why, you know why you want to be this different person and not that you want to be so different. You just, there are other things that you want out of life and that you want to work toward. Right. And people might feel a little bit intimidated and that's why mentors are mm -hmm. so amazing because you get with people who are a little bit further along the path yes. than you, somebody that can show you the way and gets where you want to go. Absolutely. Not everybody will get it. And that's a harsh reality. And it's okay that they don't get it, but it's also okay for you to find someone who does and mm -hmm. who's going to support you on your journey. Absolutely. I think mentors are one of the greatest ways to, like, take your goals and put them on steroids. Like, oh, just totally. to get their, like, faster yes. and, like, harder. Totally. So I'm all, I'm all about mentors. <laughs> so get a mentor, guys. <laughs> Those are our three tips on how to be tenacious and how to stay the course. I really hope that these help you throughout this coming year so that you can, you know, stick to your goals. And if you go to Abby's channel, we made another video about yes. sticking to your 2019, I almost forgot what year it was, 2019 <laughs> goals and being able to really accomplish those goals. So yeah. if you check the description below, I will have a link to Abby's channel down there. Make sure and subscribe to her because she is amazing and she has such a great message for every woman out there. <laughs> thank you, Karen. That was very nice. I just want to thank Abby for being in my video today. And Leave us a comment below and let us know what you do to stick to your goals when things get tough. You guys are amazing. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you, Abby, for being thank here. You, it's okay. been so much fun doing this collaboration. I hope that we can do some more in the oh, future. Oh, absolutely. We live too close <laughs> not to do exactly. more. Exactly. So. And I hope that you guys will just remember to be diligent, be badass, and most important, be you. <laughs> <laughs>